I guess the form is like A, B, A, right? What's the character of like the A part? Um, I think it's kind of like exploring. Exploring. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so how, how can you um, express that uh, more, um, more clearly musically if you're, if you're exploring, let's say? Yeah, the dynamic changes. You know how you have a lot of these hairpins up and down, and I think you can make more of them uh, so that it really feels like you know you open and you close. And these the sforzandos, you know. Um, those can be heavier, I think. Um, not slower, just uh, heavier. Yeah. Um, do you want to try it again? Just from the beginning. Okay. okay good. Um, can you just play by yourself once? Uh, I was wondering if you can make more of the hairpin. Okay, so it's crescendoing to the top, right? Um, somehow, um, maybe you can design the bow uh, distribution to make it so that you use a little more bow as you crescendo to the top. I think that that'll make, that, that way you'll, it'll not only look like you're making more sound, but it'll actually sound bigger. That's it, okay? Um, and let's go keep going. You're still sort of using like this much bow, and I want you to use like more here um, because the lower you are in the bow, the, the more leverage you have on the string, and the more sound you make. Yeah. Go on. 
Um, can you keep that really on the string, like in the string? Yeah, that's it. And, and as you crescendo, it says uh, there's a crescendo to the bottom, right? Move your bow closer to the lower middle half of the bow. I know you're starting like up here. Just do it slowly once. Da da di da da di da 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 da. Because you have these, you know, for the last six, sixteenth notes, you have these accents, and if you're caught in this part of the bow, it will seem um, like there's not enough power. So just do it slowly. And try to move the bow more to the middle lower half, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm actually subdividing for you. So it's in two, I'm, I'm subdividing in four. So it's one, two, okay? So one, two, three. Yeah, you're going too fast, actually. Yeah, the first six, the first five notes, you're going too fast. Yeah. Look, let's try. Let's try this. You're shifting on the beat rather than like somewhere in the middle, and uh, so that you get a better sense of where the pulse is. Okay, try it again. Okay, and as you go uh, more crescendo and do the last six notes with the accents. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I would actually stay on the string. I wouldn't come off the string at all. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And, you know, as you get talking. Oh, it's hard, much harder. Say something. So, um, so you, so just, so what you want to do is, you know, to, to make this forzando more forceful and more sharp. You vibrate and you That's it. And sink heavy, heavy. So you're really sitting down on this portando. Okay. Um, so let's start from the beginning again. It's, it's that much. Okay. 
Good, much better. So, this, I'm, can you do this again for me? So, how do you make this air? Okay, um, and also, you come, you come closer to the bridge, and then, and then you back away from it, so that it's a crescendo, not just in um, pressure, but also in context of uh, contact. So do it slowly once, huh? So you bring it closer and move the bow a little faster. more vivid when you really do those kinds of contrasts in the dynamics. And that's how you do it, you know, uh, through contact, through uh, contact, through weight, you know, uh, close to, okay, and then you really get the If you can apply what you did here to this passage, yeah. will be able to sustain the sound and sustain the energy much better than if the bow comes off the string. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Now, what do you think of this middle part? Um, it's kind of, kind of like peaceful, kind of not like peaceful, but like It has its funny... Uh, that's a funny subtitle. What does it say? Yes. Uh, she won't say it because it's, you know, it's kind of adult. It's a <laughs> dance of seduction. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so it should feel, how should it feel? You're too young to know, so uh, 
uh, but you know, just I think. <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, can you can you try it for us? Can can you just play once? And and I yeah, I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> What you're doing? Can you do more? I know it's just pianissimo, but uh, uh, take your time with that triplet, so that you're. It's not. It doesn't sound very. Uh, it sounds square. Yeah. Um, I think you have more rhythmic leeway to characterize this dance than, you know, besides a slide and all that. And I think you can. Sags there. I, I know you're trying to save your bow, but sustain. sustain the energy along with what's going on in the other voice. Huh? And when you have these double stops, like these uh, uh, what happens to your bow when you play these octaves? Do you think of the top note or do you think more of the bottom note. Okay, try the other way around. Because we're looking for, uh, when we play double stops, we're always looking for balance. And if the balance is off, then it sounds, sounds like that. So this is make sure that you have good contact on both, both top and bottom string. Quickly, and then you let go. Okay. That 
that's it. That's it. Yeah. So you understand? Yeah. Good. All right. So we're looking at you know, basically the, these two different characteristics, right? This fast, energetic, open, close, open, close, and then this sort of languorous kind of um, sultry. I, I don't know if you that word is in your vocabulary. Yeah, um, you know, sort of like a they call it humid night in the <laughs> in the uh, in the um, tropics. Yeah. We're looking at that those kinds of uh, those kinds of characteristics. Yeah, and so don't let your sound kind of dry out. You know, provide yourself with a humidifier for all the long notes. <laughs> keep it. In other words, keep the sound juicy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not the. Uh, so it's not pale. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. The <laughs> next performer is is Natalie Jean Main. And Natalie is Na Naomi, Naomi. Oh, oh boy, I blew that, didn't I? All right, reset. Um, Naomi, and Naomi is going to be um, playing the Paganini Caprice number 16. Correct? Okay, I didn't mess that one up. Um, and um, uh, both both Naomi and Audrey are students of J. Fry Vocal. Okay. So take it away, Naomi. It's good, and I'm enjoying that. Now, um, <clears throat> what do you think is um, the real challenge of this? Finding the third 
the string crossings. Okay, and when you cross string, um, what? do you think it's easier to cross the string when you're further up in the bow, or is it easier to cross the string when you're a little closer to the middle? Probably middle. Why is that? You don't have to move your arm as much. Right. Okay. So um, you can start with that. Um, let's see. So let's, can you just start from uh, there? direction the tip just let the tip fall just try that okay now let's add the, add the, add the notes to it like to hear. Um, now, another one of these. Doing with the length of the bow. Oh, okay. okay. 
Tu fais juste celui-là. Shifting what happens. Just measure it like across the string. Mm -hmm. It's basically it's like you're stretching for a fifth, except you're you're going in over three strings. Okay, so. finger half step in there it gets kind of tricky right so what I suppose is that you keep the basically you keep the first finger on the D string but when you go to when you cross over to the E string just you know don't press all the way down on the first finger but, okay. yeah take the pressure off but don't lift the finger <laughs> about this stretching is that we're always um, we have this concept of like we're stretching up but I want you to think about Oh, we're safe! We're at the bottom! 
um, uh, you have to, so you have to be shifting already. So, it's, so the motion is fluid. It's not stop and then move. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's it.
because especially nowadays you're one can be so distracted with you know, your social media, your you know, all the memes that you encounter. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, hey, look at that! Oh, you know? <laughs> wait, it's like I'm, I'm supposed to be working on something here, right? And so it's a, it's, it's really difficult to remain focused and to not be distracted. I mean, when I was growing up, you know, the distraction was uh, reading a newspaper or uh, you know maybe turning on the television and watching a baseball game you know, this, while I was practicing. You know, but nowadays it's like a hundred times worse than that. So. Well, terrific! Thank you once again, and thank all of you. Thank you all. Have a great week. And uh, we'll see you next week. Hello. 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 Hello.